guys! Today we are going to be covering every single question you ever wanted to know about root touch-ups. I'll be showing you guys what I do in the months in between when I don't highlight my hair and how I keep up with that dark root that grows in. This is a great alternative that you can do to avoid bleaching your hair every month. This look will give you a rooted, shadow effect, which is totally in right now, while also blending the line of demarcation from your new growth. This will help transition the two different colors together. I also gave a little mini hair lesson in this video. I hope it gives you guys a better understanding of some hair basics so that you can make your very own formula to achieve this look. So if you're ready to tackle those roots together, stay tuned. So the products we'll be using today are as follows, but before we get into that, let's get into a little bit of Hair 101. I thought this would be a fun, interactive type of way to give a little bit of a lesson on hair color. One of my most commonly asked questions has to do with root issues, so let's literally get down to the root cause. I am constantly being asked how to keep up with roots in between highlighting and coloring. So let's get into some hair coloring basics to help understand what to do. So today we're going to be using Paul Mitchell's The Color in 8A Light Ash Blonde mixed with 20 Volume Developer. So let's start our lesson off here with two of the most very important products used during coloring. Hair color is composed of pigments that are going to change or alter the color of your hair. However, hair color will not deposit color on its own. It needs its partner, Developer. Developer is composed of hydrogen peroxide, which lifts the cuticle to deposit color. So essentially, Developer is the activator. You could squeeze hair dye on your hair and it's not going to do a thing, unless there's Developer. So hair color and Developer are besties. They're partners in crime. One will not work without the other. So remember, hair color is composed of pigment, which is the shade that you want your hair to be. And Developer is what helps to lift and deposit that color into your hair. So now let's get into developer. There are several types of developer and they go by number level. Five through 40 are the most common developers. Five is going to be the weakest while 40 is the strongest. Five and 10 volume do not have the ability to lift the cuticle. They're simply not strong enough. Five and 10 volume are going to be used to deposit toners or to just refresh color that's pre-existing. Now, if you're using 20 through 40 developer, that's where you're going to get lift to happen. These developers are stronger and they have the ability to lift the cuticle and deposit new color. So now let's quickly cover hair color versus bleach or lightener. These terms are interchangeable, but lightener is technically the proper term. Hair color is composed of tiny color molecules, which enter the cortex of the hair to change the color. Hair color comes in a variety of different tones and pigments. They range anywhere from one being black to as light as 12 being super light blonde. Now bleach or lightener does not come in several different shades. Bleach is a simple powder mixture and the way that you're able to achieve different levels of lightness with bleach is by using different levels of developer. Bleach also develops the longer you leave it on the hair. The lighter you want your hair, the longer you leave the bleach on. Hair color is very different than bleach in that aspect because after a certain amount of time, hair color will usually stop processing. So now that you guys have a basic understanding, let's get back to the root question. Most people think that the only way to fix your root is to just highlight your hair every month. This can be incredibly drying, damaging, and can lead to excess breakage. But I am here to tell you this is not the case. There is an exception to this rule, and it does not involve bleaching your hair. Yas, Quine. So gather round and listen up. Hair dye, plus 20 volume or slightly higher, lips virgin hair. And guess what? Those pesky, annoying roots that come in every month? That is virgin hair. This ultimately means that we are able to use hair dye in between our highlighting sessions to keep up with the root that grows in. It's a lot less damaging than bleaching every month, and we are able to pick the desired level and tone that we want our roots to be. So in order to get the root shadow look, what you want to do is pick a color that transitions both your natural root into your ends seamlessly. And I'll show you how to formulate that right now. So take a look at your natural root level. 
I'm going to say mine is between a 5 and a 6, but for the purposes of this video, let's call it a 6. Then you're going to take a look at your ends. We'll call my ends a 10 because they are a very light blonde. So what you're going to do is find a level right in between those two numbers. So if we take a look, the number that is directly in the center is number 8. That is the level we are going to be using. This is going to transition those two colors together to form a perfect, naturally looking blend. Therefore, using a level 8 with 20 volume is going to lift me to a very natural blonde base. So now that we have a little bit of an understanding as to how the process works, let's get to fixing these roots. So again, here are all of the products that I will be using. Today I'll be using my absolutely favorite Framar brush. It's perfect for applying color and parting the hair. We're going to be using Violet Color Shots by Paul Mitchell to avoid any unnecessary warmth. And we're going to be using 8A Light Ash Blonde by Paul Mitchell the Color. So we're going to be using one and a half ounces of hair color. I prefer to squeeze it out of the tube with my hands because I find that the keys tend to break the Paul Mitchell hair color tube for some reason. I'm going to be adding half a dropper of Violet Shots and one and a half ounces of 20 volume developer. And just remember the reason we're using 20 volume developer is because we need lift. We need the 20 volume to penetrate the cuticle, lift the root, and then deposit the new color, 8 ash, into it. Just a side note, you don't want to go any higher than 20 volume when you're doing this usually because anything else is going to overexpose any warmth and we want to avoid anything that's too warm or too red. You also want to do as little damage to your new growth as possible and 20 volume is going to do the least amount of damage and it's going to give us the best result. So now I'm going to proceed to make my partings and I'm going to pull the top of my hair down taut so that I'm getting the very root while making sure not to overlap any of the hair dye onto my blonde ends. After you set your timer and your hair is done processing, you can go ahead and rinse it out and get ready for your blow dry. One of the products that I cannot live without is my Biolage Anti-Frizz Lotion. I've used it in a couple of my other videos. I am just so obsessed with it. It really helps to tame the breakage and the flyaways that I do have. Anytime I use it, I make sure to mold it into those front pieces where I have the most damage and then I proceed to my blowout. The blow dryer that I'm using today is the Porcelain Ceramic by Babyliss Pro. Um, I really like this blow dryer. It tends to get really hot, which is super important in a blowout. And if you guys have not seen my hair hacks video, go ahead and take a look at it. I explain all about blow drying. Make sure that when you're removing moisture like I am now, you do not have a concentrator on. And again, for any other questions, go ahead and take a look at my hair hacks video. And now for the big reveal. As you guys can see, the root is so much better blended. It's just the perfect transition color in between what my natural root was and my blonde ends. This is one of my favorite processes to do because it's less damaging than bleach and it gives a beautiful result with a little bit of variation to it. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this root touch up video and if you have any questions please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I also hope you guys enjoyed my hair mini lesson and that it gave you a little bit better of an understanding to this process. Thank you guys so much for watching.